Hola everybody, what is going on today? Buddy Blackford here and we're gonna go over creating spot color channels in Photoshop CS6. So if you work in um, the world of service bureaus and printing presses, there's certain stuff that you need to do to create an accurate printed document. Um, such things are you need to make the color mode CMYK and you need to uh, uh, save the document as um, a format that's designed for creating color plates such as uh, DCS 2.0 which is a uh, desktop color separations if you were wondering what that meant and then something you may want to apply spot colors to an image and what spot colors are is they instruct the printer to apply a specific color to a specific portion of the document and I'm not just talking about telling the printer to um, put down a blue color. I'm talking about color profiles, like different profiles like Pantone color and everything like that. So if I quickly come over here and um, I'm just going to load up my, reset my swatches to the original and bring up my small list here. If I come down here, we've got these different uh, colors, pastel yellow, pastel blue, pastel, and um, things like that, pure. So these are certain colors, and then we come down here, and these are the other kind of colors I'm talking about. Pantone color bridge coded, Pantone CMYK, so if I click on that and add it, I'll just replace it. Now these are certain colors that are exacts and that can be used with your to make a spot color to get an exact color on a printing press because sometimes when you just use the CMYK it's not always the exact thing like sometimes companies like if you're going to make a Pepsi logo or something like that um, they want the exact colors and you can't be off at all so just uh, keep that in mind so what we're gonna do is Make sure, or load up an image, and, and then go to your image and make sure it's in CMYK color. Hit OK. So we've got that, and you know what's CMYK if you uh, go back into image mode and it's checked right there. Now let's create a new layer, and we need to um, make a selection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, this uh, text, I'm going to go to this text uh, tool here. We're going to go to the horizontal, horizontal tight mass tool. Hopefully I say that right. It's kind of hard to say. I'm just going to up this a little bit so we can see it. And I'm, when I type, it's just going to create a mask for us. So let's go ahead and type. Hola amigos. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and then click off of it. And now I've got my um, selection here. Now we need to go to the channels panel here. And then we're going to go to the channels options and we're going to click on new spot channel. And we get to pick our color that we want. And um, we can check anything here. We'll go to this one and hit OK. Or we can go into our color libraries and pick out of our different tones here that we want. So this um, you may not have known so this is uh, pretty cool there's so many colors so I'll just pick this Pantone 295C whatever got the numbers completely wrong but I'll hit OK it's gonna put the name in it for me it's solidity here um, it's pretty much opacity but it doesn't really affect the press output so just hit OK. And now we have this new spot channel here, and it's going to uh, show up on our layers, and that's how you create one. Now let's check it out. If I start undoing some of these, you can see that it is up there. Let me see if I got to move it up or something. Oh, it'll just be there. Um, it's in the It's in the back. And we can't see it because the solidity was at zero. So let's uh, step back real quick. 
step backwards. Let's create our spot channel again. And then if I up this solidity here to 100%, then we're definitely it's going to show. So if we do it to 50%, just like I said, it was kind, it's kind of like um, opacity. So if I put this to 100% and then hit OK, now it's on top, and you can, or you can actually see it. So that's all there is to making spot channels. And remember, this is going for work on like things like brochures or um, like a, a book cover. Like if you're creating like a cover for a novel that's going to be printed out, you're going to need to use this and things like that. So uh, keep that in mind, just anything that needs to be printed on a printing press. So um, check out buckysroom.org here. Um, I'll, I'll bring it up. Check the, out the website and then you can check out the forum. Um, we got a Photoshop section where we uh, talk about Photoshop in there and love to see you guys joining in and getting in on the conversation. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the forum and on other videos. Have a good one, everyone.